Thanks for tuning in to Health Advocates Ask the Expert series, our monthly show about trending topics in healthcare. I'm your host, Courtney Prizer. In this episode, we're joined once again by Dr. Jocelyn Civilingham, a medical director with Health Advocate and an infectious disease specialist to discuss the importance of the flu vaccine. We may be nearing the end of this year's flu season, but it's never too early to start preparing for next year. Thanks so much for being here. You're very welcome. I'm glad to be here today. Great. So obviously the flu is very terrible for those who contract it, but how does it impact the workplace? Well, obviously the person who is sick mm -hmm. um, often is not in the workplace, right. has to leave because they feel so badly. Um, however, many people stay at work while they're sick, and that then adds up to presenteeism mm -hmm. problems. Um, then they may leave the workplace having absenteeism problems. Mm -hmm. They also go home to take care of their sick family members. Sure. And that's another economic loss. Mm -hmm. But the, one of the biggest problems is that when people come to work sick with the flu, they then spread it to others sure. and then others become ill, Oof. just magnifying the problem. And remember too, that with the flu, people start spreading that infection for approximately one day before they have symptoms. So it's not their fault, right? but they're transmitting this before Absolutely. they even know it. So that's where preventive measures come in. So then what is the organizational benefit of offering employees the flu shot at work? What's the value of doing that? Well, obviously to prevent the economic losses that we just talked about, mm -hmm. um, preventing this infection then can help ward off those mm -hmm. those losses and also people feel cared for mm -hmm. um, when they know that they're receiving this benefit in the workplace um, it's it's a it's a goodwill gesture that benefits both sides so it's a win-win for both mm -hmm. employee and employer plus it's right if it's offered right there that's convenient they don't have to course, go anywhere of course it's super convenient and the employer knows that this happened mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. What are other steps that organizations can take to protect their workforce from the flu and other contagious illnesses? Well, I think it's important to remember that basic measures, what we call respiratory etiquette, mm -hmm. um, helps quite a bit. Um, as you know, besides the flu, there's at least 200 other types of respiratory infections that can be spread in addition to those nasty GI viruses. Sure. So what we call respiratory etiquette, mm -hmm. uh, covering your coughs and sneezes, um, washing your hands after you cough and sneeze, mm -hmm. and then remembering to wash your hands or use hand sanitizer before you eat, mm -hmm. uh, after you use the lavatory, all those basic measures that sure. your mother taught mm -hmm. you help to reduce the spread of infection. Seems simple, but makes a big impact. Totally, yes. very much so. So what sets Health Advocate apart when it comes to approaching flu prevention for organizations? Well, I think that it's important to remember that besides just giving flu shots in the workplace, we offer comprehensive all-around solutions. Mm -hmm. So not only do we give this immunization to workers, but if someone needs a doctor, we can help with that. Mm -hmm. If someone needs to communicate better with their primary, if someone wants to understand mm -hmm. the illness better, if someone needs to understand their treatment or condition better, we help with that solution. If someone needs coaching for a chronic condition or needs to get into um, better solutions to sure. help them become more healthy or less anxious, we offer all those things mm -hmm. in one organization to interface with the employee and the organization. So I think that we offer a very comprehensive, well-rounded mm -hmm. offering instead of just one thing or two things. Absolutely, maximizing the impact of that. Correct. Great, Correct. well this was really helpful. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. And thank you so much for joining us. If you like what you just heard, you can subscribe to our channel and follow us on our social media pages below. And join us again next time for another edition of Ask the Expert.